Hello everyone. Welcome back to Journey to Wisdom and Wealth. My name is Tara. If you're new, welcome. If you're not new, welcome back. You know you're already part of the what? Grateful gang, gang, gang. And if you're not a part of Grateful Gang, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. We'd love to have you over here. So today we're going to be doing a video on my cash stuffing. I literally have had this money since last Friday and tomorrow is about to be the next Friday, okay? And it's becoming problematic because your girl actually needs to spend this money and stop swiping the card. <laughs> um, but I didn't want to forget to show y'all. Remember when I said my cousin had a gift to exchange with me on my last vlog setting up the little area in the living room by the bay window this was it isn't it so cute so it turns on and off that's off it's like a little fake succulent bud with some uh stringy light things that, that light up and some gravel it's quite heavy and i think it's super cute super cute not sure exactly where it's going but i forgot to show y'all last time so i wanted to show you now so let's get right into it we doing our care stuffing so i've got a few receipts here that need to go to my fetch if you're interested in my fetch then definitely the link my code is down below i put this in here so i would not forget to use it because i went to target and forgot to use it thank you again cali girl um living so um and i use some of my fetch points the only thing i want to tell you guys about fetch is i did use them towards those chairs i bought from home depot um, and I got a $50 gift card through it. However, keep in mind, it takes like three business days before you actually get it. So just keep that in mind. So if you're trying to use it right away, definitely apply for it early. So let us go into this. Let's see what we have left. So on, I haven't stuffed this in years. So whatever is in here, just been in here. Allowance has one, two, three, four, five, six. I thought one of them was upside down. I left the money holders upstairs. I just walked in and I was like, I need to do this. Gas has $30 left in it from Lord knows when, y'all. Really? Groceries actually has $10 left in it. I feel like I need to go get my, um, this seems so out of whack without the little fake tray holder that I used to have. But that's okay. We're going to make it work because you know what? We always did. And so let me just leave that on top of there. Oh, this is just my stamps that I bought because I want to send out thank you cards to all of you who bought me um, gifts from my home and home things has some change in it so we're going into our girl where the money resides where the money resides okay. what the what what the money resides what the money resides what the money resides what the money resides and i did take out 160 but i believe i only have like one 120 left because i put 40 dollars of gas in the car um, and I also want to get some more cash envelopes. These are actually pretty new, but I want some of the ones that have the little half slit situation going on. I think I saw them on Baddies and Budgets video. And I was like, oh my God, those are so cute. Okay, let's keep going. So we have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 80, 100, 120. Exactly what I thought. So we have 120 left. And what we had left over from before we had 20 30 20 30 40 41 42 43 44 45 46 we have 46 dollars actually so i actually when getting new envelopes i want to get some different categories because oh i forgot to tell y'all i quit my part-time job i put my two weeks in i'm no longer working hence why i have time to do this stuff in the daylight however it's a little stressful for me because I'm already, like, I'm not trying to stress because fear not and all that and God's got me. But at the same time, I'm like, I need to feel like I need to plan better with trying to put my money away for certain things like bulk toiletries. And I think that's what's going to happen with this. The bulk toiletries is going to get the extra money for when I need to buy a toilet paper tissue, you know, things that I need in bulk water and things like that. So I have somewhere to pull from. So let me take this money here. And go ahead and stuff it in its correct envelopes. So allowance will get $20 per usual. And the next time I want to eat out, that's where it's coming from. <laughs> and then gas is going to get $40 because I already, I'm going to do 
Yeah, I want to flirt like that. 20, 30. Now we're going to do 20, 30, 40 like that. Because I already um bought $40 because I gave 80. Normally I do 60, but I'm doing 80 because y'all know these gas prices, inflation. It's real. And then groceries is going to get 40, 20, 30, 40. Maybe I could eat out of here too. Because I kind of already have groceries. Self-care is getting 20. Which I kind of usually try and stock up and save up to get my pedicures and my eyebrows um, shaped. Just needs a little shaping. So for right now, the home things, which is usually for home things. Which I got to figure out what we're going to do with that. Because we definitely have to start taking it like room by room. Because I don't have any more extra disposable income to just use on it. So I'm going to have to like start budgeting for each room and then not doing it until I get there. I know it's annoying, <laughs> but we'll see. 20, 30, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46. Oh, yeah. So the $46 is going to go into home things, which technically is bulk toiletries. And I need to go grab some more water for work and a few other things that I'll just take out of that money when I go. But that's it, you guys. That's all I got. Like, that was relatively quick. And so being that, I'm going to also do a quick unboxing of a thing I just picked, some things I just picked up from the post office. I want to give a big shout out to my girl Crystal Methods first because she sent me $50 towards um, my house, for my housewarming gift. Yay! Love you, love you, girl. Thank you so much. I actually just went into Amazon and picked out a few things that I wanted. And they should be shipping to me by Friday or Saturday or tomorrow or Saturday, I believe. But then my girl, Taylor Budgets, you got to love her. She's so good. She's so humble. That's why she keeps on getting blessed. She actually sent me some gifts. She went on my website with my registry, which is always linked down below if you ever want to send me anything. You know, your girl is not going to complain. And she sent it, and they're already here today. And she told me, she was like, I sent it, and it should be there Thursday. And it really is here on Thursday. So let me adjust this camera so y'all can see it. Girl, did you call on Jesus and ask him what Tara needed? When I tell y'all, this is the, so I'm going to take y'all over there. This is a dish rack, a dish drying rack, which is super small, perfect, like, perfect for because I really wanted to see if I could get one that would fit into the other side of my sink and I guess this is the input for the I gotta look at the picture child to see where it goes but I'm pretty sure this is supposed to go somewhere and you go you know whatever I don't remember now it's been up there for a minute but I think it goes so you can put the little utensils in it but let me show y'all. Come with me. Come with me. Come with me. The weirdest um, <laughs> cat stuffing ever, right? Um, so here we go in the kitchen. This is what it's looking like right now. There's no light. Given no light. <laughs> this is what I'm doing. This is what I'm doing. <laughs> There's two sinks. But I ain't got no dish rack. So I just literally wash and put everything to dry on one of these drying mats. That is super old from like <laughs> a Thanksgiving. Oh my God. Yes, yes, yes. So now, and I actually did go ahead and buy myself that little porky thing. See, I was using it. Um, yes, come through when I figure out where the heck that goes. Either way though, look guys. <laughs> I'm so excited. Even if I can't fit everything in here, it's going to be so nice to be able to just dry some things upright, including the forks and spoons and whatnot. I don't know where to go, but I'll figure it out. I'm so excited. Thank you so much, Taylor. Like, you have no idea. I'd be so hyped. Sometimes when you're hyped, you just got to do the thing. You just got to do the thing. Like, you got to go try it out. Make sure it works. Look, it fits. It fits, girl. It fits. Is oh, it's the bag saver, y'all. I can't. I have plastic bags all over the place, and I'm like, I really need to put these plastic bags in somewhere. And it's a stainless steel dispenser for bags. Look at it. So you like take it. Wait, where's the hardware? 
I don't see no hardware. How they gonna send you? Oh, <laughs> let's see how they gonna send you something without. Oh, that's amazing. It's 3M strips. So it's actually user friendly. It's, um, what is it called? They have either strips or they have where you can actually put it in your wall. So renter friendly or you put it in, not your wall, in your cupboard. So these usually will go like on the back of a cupboard door in the inside. And then you stuff all your paper plastics in it. Plastics in it from the top, I believe. And then you pull from the front also very needed like you guys i really try to put things on there that i needed and you guys have been coming through because i cannot wait to use this i was trying not to put anything on there until i painted the cabinets which lord knows when that is so i'm gonna put this on with the 3m strips instead so like so nothing gets drilled into the into the daggone cabinet and last but not least, oh, there was a card. My bad. There's corn. I didn't see it. I didn't see it. So happy for you, Tara, from Taylor of Taylor Budgets. Thank you, boo. I'm happy. You're happy. We're happy. So happy for Tara. God bless your humble home from Taylor Budgets. <laughs> she wrote three different ones. Is there another one on this? Yep. And last but not least, Love what you did with your bay window area. Love Taylor Budget. Chick, you sent me three different ones. Go. I love it. I love it. And last but not least, can I tell you? You guys already saw this one. <laughs> it's those amber glasses that I bought. That I didn't buy. That someone else bought me. I'm not going to struggle to open this. <laughs> um, in the Jesus name. That I got last time I made my glass cleaner in in my last video. And to be honest, I really want like three sets of these. And she bought me my second set. Um, because I want one downstairs and one upstairs and probably one in the kitchen. So, yes, this is a spray bottle and also comes with a closed nozzle as well. Like a closed top as well. There's two in the pack and... Again, a great packaging per usual. And again, this booklet that shows you how to make all the different little household products that you can put in them. So Taylor, love you, love you, love you much. I appreciate you so much. I don't want to make this cast up in too long, but I appreciate all of you. Crystal, I appreciate you. Um, Taylor, I appreciate you. I can't wait to get the stuff from, from um, Crystal that I purchased and so excited and i'm so glad you guys are enjoying the making the house a home kind of thing humble home series thank you thank you so much thank you so so very much have a wonderful blessed day remember in order to be great you have to be grateful and i'm super duper grateful for you remember all things are always working out for our good you just have to believe it you have to believe it you have to believe it and not just today not just tomorrow but when forever 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 forever